Hello, today I'll be talking about fractions. First thing, how to reduce a fraction. All right, so for example, number one, say we have 50 over 75 and we want to reduce it. Now, what we're looking for is what goes into both of these numbers. So you do want to think of the highest thing, but if you don't know it, you can always do it by smaller increments. Say we do know five goes into both. So what we can do is just divide by 5, divide by 5, 50 divided by 5 is 10, 75 divided by 5 is 15, and we know 5 can go into both of those again. So we have to reduce again, because if you don't reduce it all the way, then it's not done and it won't be right. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3, so that would be it. Another example, we could say 16 over 40. Now, if you want to be a little bit quicker, you can think of the highest number that will go into both of these. So for 16 and 40, we would think 8. 8 does go into both of these. So we divide both of them by 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And 40 divided by 8 is 5. That would be it. Now mainly, this video on fractions is for the operations on fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So now I'm going to go over a few of those. Okay, so, adding for number three, we have two over nine plus three over four. So, first thing we have to do when we're adding fractions, we need a common denominator, all right? Common denominator. So, we think of what do 9 and 4 both go into. And then once we have our common denominator, we can add the tops, and that'll, that'll be it. So, 9 and 4. So let's think of multiples of 9 first. 9, 18, well 4 doesn't go into 18, so we have to keep going. 27, 36. 4 does go into 36, 9 times, all right? So what we're going to do is multiply this by a 4, because we know 4 times 9 is 36. Do it on the bottom, you have to multiply on the top as well. And we know 4 times 9 is 36. So we're going to multiply this by 9 and 9. So we multiply it out. 4 times 2 is 8 over 36, our common denominator, plus 3 times 9 is 27 over 36. And that comes out to 8 plus 27 is 35 over 36. And then you would think, can we reduce it? But we can't because these are only one number apart. So we're not going to be able to do that. Another example with subtraction. 4. 5 eighths minus 1 sixth. So once again, we think, what do 8 and 6 both go into? So take the higher number and go up. 8. 8 goes into 16, but 6 does not go into 16, so we keep going. 8 goes into 24, and 6 goes into 24. So 8 goes into 24 three times, and if you do it on the bottom, you've got to multiply on the top. 6 goes into 24 four times. And you always want to think of the lowest number here. Yes, we know 8 times 6 is 48. They will both go into 48, but you want to get the lowest one to avoid reducing in the end. 3 times 5 is 15 over 24 minus 1 times 4 is 4 over 24. 
and then you just subtract the tops. 15 minus 4 is 11 over 24. Oops. And that'll be it for that one. Okay, next, multiplication and division. All right, for multiplication, number five, say we have four over nine times three over two. And I'm actually going to show you two ways to do this one. 4 over 9 times 3 over 2. So the first thing we can do, and this is kind of an easier way, is just multiply across and then we can reduce later. Alright, so we have 4 times 3 is 12. Over 9 times 2 is 18. And then we also know that 6 goes into both of these, so we divide by 6 on the top and bottom. 12 divided by 6 is 2 over 18 divided by 6 is 3, 2 thirds. That'll be our answer. Another way of doing this would be to reduce first. So, we know 4 and 9 can't be reduced because nothing goes into both of those. But 4 and 2 can be. 2 goes into both of those, so 4 divided by 2, this would turn into a 2. 2 divided by 2, this would turn into a 1. Same for the 9 and the 3. So we can divide by 3 for both of these. Divide by 3, you get 1. 9 divided by 3 turns into a 3. So this whole side turns into 1s. Now we can't just get rid of them, but I want to show you what happens. We have 2 thirds, because that's what these turned into, times. 1 over 1, then you can multiply straight across, 2 times 1 is 2 over 3, and that'll be it. And the last one, number 6, we have 5 over 6 divided by 3 over 6. Now there's a trick when you're dividing. Um, what they say is you can keep the first, change the sign, and flip the last. Keep, change, flip. All right? Another way to remember it is when you're dividing by a fraction, because here we have a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is just when you flip it. All right, so we keep the first, 5 over 6 stays the same. Change the sign to multiply, and we flip the last or multiply by the reciprocal. Another trick in math is when you have the same number on the top and the bottom, they cancel out because 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 1 kind of just absorbs into the equation. So 5 times 1 is still going to be 5. It's not changing anything. So this is just going to turn into 5 over 3. My next video is going to be on percents.